everyone, it's Maria here from Pepley Rose Paper Crafting. I'm from Sydney, Australia. Welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be giving my, as promised, one month on review of the Stampin' Up! trimmer. So I will let you know how I find it one month after I got this and let you know what I really think about this trimmer. This review is going to be honest, whether I'm a demonstrator or not. Uh, I want to, um, to convey my honest opinion about this trimmer. These are the blades that come with it, so they're still there in the package. Um, this blade is from the beginning of this trimmer that I bought it. I've been using it non-stop throughout all of my projects that I have made this past month personally and on camera to show you. So this is a completely unbiased review. Uh, so far it cuts beautifully. There was one time it didn't cut properly and that was because the track was full of debris. So once I did a video, it had uh, some Knight of Navy cardstock. I don't remember which video it was. And I said that the trimmer is cutting fuzzies. It did at that time because the track was really filled up with uh, debris. So I'll show you a cut and I'm going to cut off this horrible piece here. Um, this is non stampin' up cardstock. This is just some scrap I have lying around and it is a little bit thinner. So it's a good indicator of how this cuts and it cuts still very good it has at the beginning it had like a slight lip on it um it has a slight lip now but it's not very big um so it's if you can see that i'm not sure if you can see that very well on camera but it's neither here nor there to be honest and this is the cardstock that can kind of fray um and it is a little bit rough there i'll try and do another cut there as well and confirm because that was a bit mangled at the end and it, and it still cuts nice there's no frayed bits if you can see that nothing's frayed so do keep the track clean that's um so just get a piece of cardstock move it along down the bottom and all the debris should just come off and this will ensure that you keep getting good cuts this cuts still very well um, from the beginning so I've had it for a month very very good and also this scores beautifully and I'll show you I, I love the scoring on this and I'm being honest about it the scoring is fantastic on this I'm doing it once over but it's very crisp if you can see that so you can easily fold it and it cuts I mean it scores very nicely so I I'm really pleased with that the this over time is not as sticky or as, as hard to move so I just use this part here and it comes off easily like I have to angle my hand like that and just make my fingers go underneath a little bit and it goes like that very well also down the bottom is a great way to just undo it as well if you want to do it from the top if you're pushing down it doesn't come off very easily so you're best to do it from here and, and move that along so it works well still my issue and a big issue for me is this um, if I want to cut to six inches it's fine so I'll cut to six inches what works great is it's got this slip here if you can see it's got like a, a ledge so if I cut to six inches it's precise dead on six that comes in handy however because of this slip like let's do it this way because of this slip I cannot move it out you know I'm in the habit of when I cut I can move it out I can't do that with this because of that stupid lip there what I wished instead was that this didn't have like a ledge or a lip on it and it is more flush and I'll show you with my other trimmer my other stepping up trimmer I'll just bring that over because I forgot if you cut I'll just do a quick cut on this one. So I cut that score line right off. All right, so I cut that score line off. Wow, I can move that off because it's flush. There's no lip. That annoys me. <laughs> so when I cut, so I finish my cutting, I go like that, I cut, and then 
I can't do it. I find that really, really annoying. So if I want to keep doing that, I have to extend the arm out all the time and do it like that. The other thing that gets me as well is that the measurements from 5 inches to 6 inches are only up the top here. There's nothing down here to keep it going. So if you want to work from, say, the bottom of the trimmer, you, you don't have the accurate um, you don't have any accurate measurements up to the six inch mark. So I had totally wished that this that this ruler was hidden like this ruler. So this ruler, all the measurements go underneath and you have up to six inches interrupted free all the way to the bottom. Okay, so that's a thing that annoys me the most about this trimmer. So as you can see there, what happened to the rest of it to line it up? <laughs> so, and down the bottom too, if you want to work from the bottom, you don't have, you know, any measurements from five inches down. So that is a stupid design flaw as far as I'm concerned. I don't like it. Um, but I do love that the measurements here for the smaller pieces go up to an inch and a half. Yeah, I think it's an inch and a half, roughly, yeah. So that's great. I like that. Um, I like that there's measurements here in the middle as well. I think that's fantastic. Um, so there's good points and bad points. I do love that this trim, I'm not sure if you can see the measurements, has measurements that go here as well. So I think it's fantastic that it has measurements go up to there as well. So that's my honest review of the trimmer. My biggest problem is the lip thing that's on the edge here, so you can't just sweep your paper away. And that the measurements don't go all the way down to the bottom of the trimmer. Um, they're just concentrated just up here to line up, and that is it. So if you want to work from the bottom just for something different, you can't do that. So that's a pain. What I also, um, what I think is good though, is that I like that you can pick up your blade and you can turn it around and it's and you don't even have to have this up to do that you can just have this down and you can pick up your blade did it just before like that up turn it around and then you can use it on both sides so you can get a lot more wear and tear out of your blade so I like that um, I like the way it scores and it has these arrows so you know that that, that where the middle of the page is so you have an accurate view um, other than that I can't say anything else bad about it but there's just design faults with this I think the ruler should have been hidden underneath and I think also you have to slot this in because it's got like a little if you can see that there's like a little slot there you have to slot it into here so if you're not careful you can go over the top of that see that so yeah you have to slot it in and remember that um, but other than that I think the trim is a good one um, this is my honest review you have to find a trimmer that you enjoy and that the features suit your way of crafting. If you find this annoying where you can't just take the page off, then I don't suggest you get this trimmer at all. Or you just have to lift this up and go now to the right. So if that's a little thing that doesn't annoy you, then you know go for this trimmer. It's up to you. It still cuts well. The blades are very good still. The blade is very good still. Um, it will fray if you've got bits in your track, so make sure you keep that clean. Do not put anything thicker than this cardstock, like cardstock generally. Otherwise, you will cause nicks in the plastic, and then when you start cutting, it will be all frayed and and bumpy because there's not a smooth track for it to go on to but overall i think this trimmer for the price is excellent um, if you do not want to bother with these consumable blades for me the best trimmers of all are the guillotines and i've done a video before and it's the tonic um guillotine trimmers i love those things 
I think they're the best because they're self-sharpening and um, you have guaranteed good cuts every time and precise. So um, you have to gauge what is best for you. This is my honest review of this trimmer. It's a very short video, but I just thought I'd let you know what my thoughts are on it. The other thing I'm not happy with is that the measurements are here in inches, but there's nothing in centimetres. And I think it would have been nice if they had printed some measurements as well on the ruler that are in centimetres. It would have been nice if it had both. But, you know, I've come to realise as well, there is no such thing as a perfect trimmer. <laughs> so you have to, you know, figure out which trimmer best works for you and the way you craft and what you'll be happy to craft with. For me... I, I can't go past my guillotines. I'm going to be very, very honest here. In terms of precision cuts without wasting money on consumable blades, I'd go for a guillotine trimmer all the way. Self-sharpening blades, you can't beat it. They will last you for years. And um, yeah, it'll save you money in the long term. So up to you which way you want to go. This trimmer is good though, and it is lightweight. And you have a storage uh, option where you can hang this up because it's not going to take a lot of room. Also, it's quite slim, so you can stick this in a drawer if you wish. It doesn't take up a lot of room. And it does have a good size arm where it goes up to 17 inches. Not that I'll ever need it, but um, if you ever need to cut something up to that length, then this is a great trimmer. So, see, there you go. I didn't put it in properly, so you have to be careful of that. Other than that, a little bit of a learning curve with this trimmer, I think, but it's on the whole, I think it performed very well, so I can't fault it <laughs> from, from the cutting aspect. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of the trimmer, if you have it in your hands, or if you're a demonstrator and you're watching this, let me know what you think of the trimmer, and I'll be interested to hear what you have to say. All right, guys, sorry for the short video, but I will be back again this week with another tutorial. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.